Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3 with Just the Bow. Today we're going to finish up the rest of uh, what we got in the Farren Swamp here. So we're at the Keep Bonfire right now. Last time we grabbed the uh, Undead Bone Shard, which I forgot to burn. But that's okay, we'll do it at the next bonfire. But first what we have to do in this area is well, deal with what's over here, unfortunately. And as you can see, there is in the distance a giant crab. So that's one thing we're going to have to deal with in this area. Thankfully these guys are, are doing like a really weird pathing stuff. Not that time. There we go. Okay, so now I think there might be like one or two more dogs, and then we're gonna go after the big crab. So any doggies? I see the crab. I don't see any doggies around. So let's fight the giant crab. Oh, the giant crab has the same idea. Let's fight. Oh man. Last time we fought a giant crab was all too recently. Even though it was like two bosses ago. These things are nasty. Especially when they get at that angle. I hate when they can come at you with that uh, their long arm on that side attack. When they start charging at you sideways. I mean, that's similar, but that one unfortunately is not as long as a, of a, a claw. Well, it's the same length it looks like. But no, I don't know. One of those is really big. Yeah, the one on the right, his right is really big. I'm going for multiple attacks here. And I don't want to get hit by any of them. See, that one's not too bad. Don't want to get hit by a grab. I want him to do more and more bubble stuff. That's what I like to see. When he does bubble stuff, I'm happy. Come on. Do another bubble attack. Oh, ooh, I didn't see that one coming. Oh my gosh, my health is so low because I've been watching it. Just been focusing on, on his health and getting him down. I'm getting myself into a bad position here because he can and will um, back me into the higher swamp there where I will have to walk really slowly and that would be a death sentence especially with this play style. Oh, bubble attack, nice. Good opportunity to get some hits in. If you get hit by that you get slowed a whole bunch. I don't know if I got hit by it before. Nice to grab. Good opportunity to get a shot or two. Ooh, maybe should have just gone for the one. Hopefully more bubble. Oh, that's not a bad attack. I'll take that. Should be one more hit but gotta play careful. I want to get reckless, that's how you die in Dark Souls. There we go. Alright, crab down, and for this I believe we get, yeah, the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring. That increases the length of spell effects, so any weapon buffs or self buffs, like Iron Flesh like we found last time, and it's probably a ring we might make use of, because there's a few spells that will buff our character that I've considered using, so we might just do that. It's six gold pine bundles there. That's awesome, except I'll never use them. I'm gonna get an ember there, which is great because I've lost uh, the only ember I had from defeating. Or did I get an ember for defeating um, the deacons? I can't remember. I had an ember in my inventory, so maybe. A young white branch and another soul there. And then we get the crown of dusk, which is a cool hat, and the young white branch. So let's see what the crown of dusk looks like if you guys haven't seen this one yet. It's like got little wings on each side. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll rock that for a while. It looks like we're wearing, uh, wearing headphones or something like that. So next thing we're going to head towards is uh, hopefully where we can get another bow. I've never actually gotten this bow before and I actually read it on the wiki that there's a bow that I thought you got way later in the game but you can actually get it right here. So we'll we can go fight the enemies we need to, to get it and see if we can get it. I really hope we can because it would be really cool to play with it. We have one more item over here first though. I think it's guarded by a doggy. Is there a doggy? Well, there's an item over there I missed. Let's go back and get that Titanite Shard. This might have been dropped by the crab and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's what it was. Titanite Shard. Okay, cool. I'm totally down with more Titanite Shards. We're going to need a lot of those to upgrade. Well, basically the four regular bows and later on the great bows, which I'm really looking forward to playing with those because in all of my times playing Dark Souls, I've maybe used one of them once and I was like, oh, that's neat, and then stopped playing with it. So let's take out this guy right here, shoot him in the head. Nice, he didn't put up his shield right away. That's good. Or right there. Oh, excellent. That guy made it nice and easy for us. Even though it's kind of a waste, I am going to heal because I don't want to get chunked down from full to zero by these guys. Oh, come on. I thought I could hit him in the head from the back there, but it just wasn't letting me. 
Do these guys even have faces? Like, have heads, but headshots don't really seem to... Well, that did bonus damage, unless it was counter damage. I can never quite tell sometimes. Yeah, see that one? I thought I hit him in the head and it did the same regular damage that a body shot does. Oh, that was a terrible miss. There we go. I like that I have, uh, I have like 999 or whatever, 600 of, of every arrow now, which is just awesome. So, my arrow worries have mostly gone down the drain, but against the deacons there was a moment where I actually had to go and farm some guys in order to get more arrows, because I was really running low. Like, I had, I had almost nothing left. I was using, like, poison arrows, and those didn't do anything. Fire arrows, those actually did less damage. Like, the fire arrows don't seem good for some reason. Okay. So there's an item in the middle of these guys, but apparently what I have to do is actually kill these guys. So, oh, that actually does a lot more damage than I was expecting against these guys. In my uh, regular playthroughs of this game, I have never once defeated one of these things. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I have defeated them, but I generally do everything I can in every possible way to avoid fighting these guys whatsoever. Because they do this kind of stuff. They cast these death skulls, and then they run around with a giant tree for a weapon, like, like what kind of overpowered creature are you trying to decide here, or design here, from software? These are ridiculous. Oh, we do get an There's a heavy gem, cool. Something we won't use, but cool to have. Getting our poison ticker going back up. Let's actually heal, since we're okay on Estus right now. Let's shoot this guy. I'm glad we can pull these guys one at a time. Please don't smash me. Thank you. You can shoot your spells at me. It's the spells I can I can deal with those mostly. Somewhat. But when you when you smack me with a tree, that's oh, see? Never mind, he launched a whole bunch of spells. And he's going for the big tree smack. Alright, well these guys aren't too bad with the bow. I mean oh there it is, the black bow of Ferris. That's what I wanted. And a stone great shield. Okay, I've never killed these guys. I didn't know they actually dropped things. So let's see, back black bow of Ferris over here. And we can actually use it, which is awesome. So this thing is cool because it has a triple shot. The Ferris triple shot at the bottom there. Skill swiftly mocks, or knocks three arrows with finesse after drawing the bow, firing them simultaneously. So let's equip that and actually see what that looks like. So we can hold it in a special stance. And am I screwing it up? Oh, I'm actually shooting three arrows? No? Okay, what's going on here? Am I using... this is the black bow, right? Is this the black bow? What's going on? Can I... am I not doing it right? Okay, which... which bow... okay, I'm just gonna equip the short bow. Okay, now I have the quick bow equip. Okay. Oh! Was I hitting the wrong button? That's probably what I was doing. There we go. Okay, it's like a long bow. That's right. Okay, sorry about that. I was completely derping right there. Okay, short bow. And then, okay, now we can do that. So, let's actually shoot three arrows at this guy and just shoot, see what happens here. Oh, that's not the right button. Okay, so we gotta go in the stance, then do this, then knock the three arrows. <laughs> well, I only hit him with one, and it unupgraded, so that did no damage. But if I hit him with all three, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just like, I'm just like completely derping now. Too excited about the new bow, not paying attention to anything. Okay. Whoa, 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 Holy smokes. That was incredibly dangerous. Oh my gosh. Okay. No more screwing around. I'm just gonna take this guy out. Dodge all the spells, all the death skulls. There we go. They actually go down a lot more than I thought they would. I thought they would kind of like chase you endlessly, uh, but they actually just fly into the ground mostly. As I say that, uh, like a whole bunch of them almost get me. There we go. And then we get Ferris's hat, which is actually cool too. So we're just going to switch our hat again to Ferris's hat since we're an archer here. This is a broad brimmed leather hat traditionally used by master archers and especially favored by forest dwelling hunters. The name Ferris is said to once belong to a hero, but is now more widely known as a style of hat. So there we go, we got the Ferris hat. Let's rock that for a while. And we get a poison gem, which is uh, inconsequential. For inconsequential for us because we can't imbue any of our weapons like I keep saying. Anyways, now we have to run back basically to the bonfire we were just at, which we're actually gonna... You know what, since the next area has a couple fights that are probably gonna wear me down and <laughs> I might even die a couple times, 
because there's like a NPC invasion I have coming up and a couple other things. We're actually going to stop at the bonfire and get our Estus and if I can burn... Can you burn the bone shards? No, you can't. Okay. Well, we'll just do that back next time I go to the fire link. But I did put the Estus shard uh, consumed by the blacksmith somehow and reinforce the Estus flask so it's plus eight now. Or not plus eight, but has eight charges. And now we'll go this way. And I don't think I get anything for killing this guy, but you know what? Since I don't really remember killing any of these guys, let's go for it. See what he can give us. We've got our fancy new hat, feeling swaggy. Ooh, also feeling really, you know, <laughs> stupid, because there's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. I seem to have crossed that line. Let's see. Oh, okay, this is dangerous. This is super dangerous. Super duper dangerous. Go for the quick shot. Got him. Okay. Anything from this guy? Not even to drop. All right. Lots of souls though. That's cool. Right here we have. I don't know if we've encountered basilisks yet, but if not, here's our our first taste of them. They kind of suck because they they spit curse, but they don't do anything else. They just try and curse you, and they're kind of slow when they're using their attacks. But if they land their curse on you, you can just die outright. And uh, you might not know this, but those giant eyeball-looking things in the top of his head. Those aren't actually its eyeballs. Its eyeballs are, are just below that, and they're tiny and they're small right next to that tiny mouth. And these big things, I'm not quite sure if they're like an intimidation tactic or something they use to hear things, or who knows. They, I mean, they could be a second set of eyes, I just don't think so. They don't really seem to do anything. But the little ones just below that, they're pretty cool. So we get a golden scroll, which is something we can give to the sorcery trainer. An antiquated set, which goes with the crown of dusk, and it's kind of just like a flowy, nice white silk kind of uh, set. And it's it was pretty cool looking for the fashion souls, but I'm pretty happy with my kind of rogue, outdoorsy forest hunter set right now with my swamp pyromancer gear and Ferris hat. Don't want to get cursed. Don't curse me. Thanks. And there's Yellow Finger Hazel, which I completely expected. And you see, you couldn't see him there, but he was there. He's got that concealing ring you get for ranking up in the Rosaria Covenant. Oh my gosh, dude. Don't give me any of that. Alright, let's uh, hide by a tree here. Since that probably be a little bit safer than not hiding by a tree. Let's see if we can just have the ranged battle like I think I did last time with Hazel. Yeah, shoot your crossbow. I'm just going to shoot my bow. Come on. Come on now. Oh, now he wants to go. I think he used the Nestus. Try, tried to shoot me with the crossbow there. This fight should just mostly be a complete joke. But that did do a lot of damage to me. So I still gotta be careful. This nice little uh, growth on the side of this tree is perfect though. Come on. Come on. See, this is just like kaplunk kaplunk. And now Hazel's out of Estus already, but definitely not out of mana. I'm actually going to use an Estus though, because poison is ticking down, and Hazel does seem to have infinite mana. Oh my gosh, just throwing spells like they're nothing. Give me a break, Hazel. I mean, from my experience so far in PvP and PV, it seems like magic spells are like the hardest thing to deal with as an archer, because they're faster, and some of the times, actually a lot of the time, way more damage than you are as well. But, I don't know. I, I just, I'm doing the bow thing, so that's what I'm doing. Hopefully, as I push my dexterity up into the ridiculous numbers, it can start to deal some real damage. But anyways, we have one more of these jumping, clawing, hyper guys here. And as I was talking about, I hate these guys. So I'm really hoping I can just wipe this guy out. See, they do this thing to like stop and they just take a nice little stroll sometimes and then they'll just get turned up and charge you. But, yeah, that time it just worked out. So, whatever. It worked out. Good enough. Get a homeward bone. And that's pretty much the end to this area, as far as I know. I mean, if you guys know of any other treasures that are really cool or basically anything I might have missed, let me know and I'll come back and find it. But, in my time playing through this game, I've always just done that, 
and then that was it. And we're actually going to homeward bone. Oh shoot, I'm going to the shrine bonfire by accident. So I'm going to uh, do the bone shard thing and then see you back at the keep. And here we are back in the Farron Keep ruins. So let's head down here and as you can see now that we've lit all the fires, the doors are open. So now we get to head on into the Farron Keep and we'll see what exciting stuff lies ahead. I think we have uh, not really anything new, but we have a boss fight coming up and a couple little interesting side fights. You can see there's like something here and it turns out this is actually an enemy. And it's one of these guys of all things, so it'll instantly transform, and I think that does actually happen with melee weapons as well. I think it went and tried on another character or something. We had two Shriving Stones, awesome. And what happened is they would transform on the second hit immediately, but they wouldn't, uh... uh sorry, I got distracted by the poison there. They, they would stay staggered, so they wouldn't really be able to leap on me right away. So, that's... That's the uh, difference between using a bow and a melee weapon. With bow they transform and they come at you, melee they stay staggered and they're not too annoying. I made him mad, he's gonna jump at us now, try and stab the heck out of us. Oh man, they're just so violent and crazy. Oh my gosh. And they can just, I know I'm just gonna get wiped out in just like two seconds by like the stupidest thing. Oh my gosh, just stop, stop please, thank you. That was absurd. Also, while I was back at the Firelink Shrine, I went and put one more point into health and, and stamina, or endurance. And so now I have 20, 20 vitality, or health, and 18 endurance. Okay, these guys are just, they just, they give me like a panic attack. <laughs> like, I guess it's not that bad, I shouldn't say that. But they really, they really stress me out, because they're screaming, they're flying around, they're being, being ridiculous. You can't, their camera just goes all over the place. And for the life of me, I can't put one more arrow in him. Come on, just one more. Just one more. Just one more. Okay. Okay, let's just get comboed in the corner. That seems fine, too. Oh my gosh, we're actually going to get comboed in the corner. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Alright, here we are back at my souls. I took out the wizardy one up top before I could scream and wake these guys up, so I'm just going to ignore them, because they're a pain in my butt. But also on the way back here, I realized I completely missed a bonfire and a whole part and section of the swamp. I can't believe I, I missed it because it's always a part of my ritual. I missed a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to go in here and grab this bonfire and we're actually going to head out and find the stuff that I missed because, oh, well actually it looks like we're going to go help a friend real quick. So I'll either see you in the fight if it's a good one or... I guess we'll just keep playing, because we might have lost connection to whoever we were going to go help. So let's fight this guy. So there's a few treasures over here, and another bonus enemy. There's like a whole bunch of stuff that I, I haven't even shown you guys. This actually might be a three episode series ending with uh, an upcoming boss fight, which I don't want to spoil for you guys. But we have a, a crystal lizard and a shortcut over here, so let's go take care of that. And I guess I'm not going to be helping, yeah, due to timeout. It's going to be a connection error, or maybe the person died, or something like that. So there's that guy. Do I have any more embers? I did get that one more ember. Let's pop that. Because I, I forgot that I, I died goofily back there. That was really dumb. So we'll take out this guy. Then we have a lizard and a spell. And then we got some more treasure to track down. I really like this area, though. It's like a nice overlook of like what you're dealing with. And where you are. And like how far you've come. Compared to... You know, the very start of the game when you're like, holy smokes, this place is huge, you know, it's like, wow, I've, I've been to a lot of those places on the map and on the screen that looks gigantic. I don't know why he's using that attack, but it's cool with me. Is he going to roll now? Oh, he's going to jump. I told him, usually these guys start off the, the fight with a roll, so that's what I was expecting. It's going to take just a few arrows to take this guy down. I don't think he has any, like, weak spots aside from his head. But with a bow, it doesn't really seem to matter too much. Unless, like, unless, like, his underbelly is really soft or something like that. Oh, jeez. Tromp. Oh, shooting the floor now. I'm gonna heal, just in case. Really don't want to get taken out by something stupid or goofy. Can't seem to shoot through those, those crystals. Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh, that was horrible. That could have been the death of me. See, I was like, what if he uses those crystals for cover in, like, the back of my head? to do like the rolling attack or something, and then what do you know? 
did exactly that. First time I've ever gotten hit by a crystal. Did like more damage than I was expecting. That's okay though. See these crystal lizards they, they only have like so many attacks. And a lot of them they they lead up with really telltale uh, animations. So they're not too hard to deal with once you learn all the attacks they can do. But just like everything in Dark Souls, the first time you encounter it it's overwhelming. You can usually usually get by, but so this little shortcut takes us back to the Road of Sacrifices, and as you can see, I shouldn't walk through because you wake up that guy when you do that. So now I have to fight this guy. But yeah, there's the Black Knight over there, and you can fight him and harm him if you want to. I think this is mostly just like a, if you want to farm the Black Knight kind of shortcut. Or like get the, get the turtle, or the crabs or whatever. Because it's like honestly, the Crucifixion Woods Bonfire was like right there, and there's not a whole lot of reason to to take. Did he just like move to avoid my arrow? I think he did. There's not a whole lot of reason to take this path over there. Unless you want to avoid the crabs or something. So let's head down here. And this is where we have a couple more treasures to pick up. Get Atonement, which is a dark spell. And a hollow gem, which is for dark damage. So yeah, pretty dark related stuff. And now we're back to these things. And we're gonna run through here and get to the spot I wanna show you guys. And hopefully not die on the way there. Already poisoned, which is normal. Got some basilisks behind me, but I'll just move away from them, they're not too big of a deal. Okay, this is Yeah, this is really close to where I wanna be. Oh shoot, but I aggroed that guy. Did not mean to do that. Please don't club me with your giant thing. Oh my gosh, and there's slugs. Alright. Well this went from not bad to bad to worst, to bad, to horrible pretty quickly. So we're gonna run over here. Is there a loot over there? I think I see, yeah, I see items over there. I'm gonna get those. But I've had problems. Got lots of problems right now. Guess let's eat this as the soup. And get a sunlight talisman. That's pretty good. Probably end up using that if I end up doing things with fate spells. Am I gonna aggro this other one? Did I, I aggroed more stuff. Oh no, this is not good. I want that treasure though. I want that treasure as well. Come on. Let me get these treasures and then I'll be out of your guys' business. Two Titanite shards, that's awesome. Okay. My heart's pounding. Gotta get this treasure tucked away in this corner here. I always forget about this one. Please don't block me in here. Nameless knight stuff. Cool. Get some more armor. I might I don't know. I kinda like my setup right now, but I may end up changing it. I may just have to do that. Okay, so we haven't aggroed the other one yet, that's good, let's keep it that way. Use this opportunity to heal up and start dodging more. We're gonna head for that ladder, hopefully praying, praying right now. If I can make it up this ladder, that's everything. This is everything right now, don't get knocked off the ladder, don't get knocked off the ladder. Oh, holy smokes. Okay, I'm just gonna, okay, spells don't go upwards, oh no they do. Okay, please don't drain my stamina and knock me off the ladder. Oh no, we fell off the ladder. We're dead. GG. Okay, I'll see you guys back when I get to the ladder and climb it without getting killed. And here we are back on the ladder, and already I see I missed another item over there. So let's go get that really quickly. I think this is just a wolf's blood sword grass. Yep. So that's something we're going to use to rank up in a covenant. Well, we're not going to use it, but you can use it to rank up in a covenant. Uh, that we're about to go find. Up the top of this ladder here is another bonfire. Oh, and we have a, a crystal bug too. I hope we can kill it. Although it doesn't really matter for us, so... Not too big of a deal if we don't. But we have to go that way anyways. So let's take a quick dash over this way. And I'll show you guys a secret. So up the stairs here is a crystal bug. So let's see, can I get some shots in on it? Come on! Yeah, get one more dashing shot. One more. One more, come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and that gives us the Twinkling Titanite, which actually... I don't know if the Black Bow of Ferris uses regular stuff or Twinkling Titanite to upgrade, so we'll find out. But right here is the Secret Passage. Then we get the Dreamcatcher's Ashes, which I think is the one that allows us to buy Titanite shards, which is great. We can get all of our other bows caught up to the large Titanite level. So let's rest at this bonfire, and then we'll go talk to this wolf here. This is the old wolf of Farron. We get a, a emote for talking to it. And we can ask to join the covenant. That gives us the watchdogs of Farron. 
which, as you saw, we've uh, been invaded by those guys before, and we can join their ranks now if we want to uh, defend the Farron area from invade or not invaders, but just people existing in it, become a defender of the area, which is pretty cool. Now we may end up doing that for some of the PvP episodes, which probably going to end up doing one of those pretty soon here, since we are getting some more bow upgrades and we can start making the combat a little more interesting. But before we end the episode today, we're going to fight this guy. So I hope you guys are ready for a really intense fight. Well, actually, probably not that intense. But I've never fought this guy with a bow. But in my experience, he's... I think I've only died to him a couple of times. He's not too bad. But if you have played Dark Souls 1, or uh, even Demon Souls maybe, I'm not quite sure how this, how close he is to the Demon Souls version, but this is uh, basically the tutorial boss from from Dark Souls 1. And uh, there's there's another version of, of the tutorial boss you fight later on. This guy's maybe more like that guy, except this guy's made out of like, stones or rocks or something, and he spits boulders. And he can also... You can do a couple more abilities that are uh, new to him and very dangerous. Oh, she! There's the boulder. See, they just look like a whole bunch of boulders, but they actually like do a ton of damage each. Let's heal up again. He'll do a jump attack, which is fine. Deal with those. That allows me to get some damage in. And we're gonna dodge that. And if you have a, a melee weapon and you hit him in certain spots enough, you can actually like break his legs off and break his tail off and that's the ability I was trying to avoid but that came out of nowhere and we're dead he's gonna throw us really far Woo! <laughs> I've seen someone get thrown off the edge before it's great anyways we'll see you back at this guy alright he's about half health again so hopefully we don't get clubbed out this time uh, when we defeat this guy we'll actually get um, a cool soul oh shoot and there he picks me up again hopefully this doesn't actually kill me it doesn't throw me off the edge. Oh my gosh, he almost killed me, and he threw me off the edge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, see you in a second. Interesting little bug going on in this fight here. I've shot him a lot of times, and he just seems uh, totally just steadfast in his approach of just standing completely still over there. So, um, didn't really mean to cheese any of this, but I just was like, how can he just continue to do that? Anyways, let me get the soul of the stray demon. And like I was trying to say during the two times I attempted this guy, uh, if you attack his legs or his tail, you can actually break off the lower parts of his body, and it's kind of funny and awesome. And uh, when you get him down, you get the soul of the stray demon, which you can use the transposing kiln through that one guy to turn into either a pyromancy to spit boulders or a Havel's ring, which I think I'm actually going to pick the Havel's ring because uh, I'm using the Flynn's Ring right now, and Havel's Ring reduces your overall equip load, so that might combo well with each other. But in, on the other side, I really like Pyromancies, and even though I'm not going to use the Boulder Spit for uh, this playthrough, it might be fun to get anyways just to have uh, the, the ability to use it when I do start doing PvP with Pyromancies on, and the bow and stuff. I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll probably end up taking the Havel's Ring, because I could always get the uh, Pyromancy on another playthrough. Or like a New Game Plus or something like that. I think I'm going to, yeah, miss that one, Crystal Lizard. But let's see, this one's kind of stuck in a corner, so I can probably get this guy. Yep, got him down. Alright. So I can, ooh, large Titanite Shard. Now I can upgrade my bow, my short bow anyways. And there's a Lightning Spear there, which is great, and Dragon Crest Shield. All good items and good spells. And we have another uh, crystal lizard up here, but I don't think I'm going to get this one. I think this one's going to end up charging through too many bad guys. Yep, can't get that guy. Any reason to come over here? Can't can't recall if there's loot. No, it doesn't seem that way. Just run past this guy. I have no quarrel with you, sir. And anything over here? Nope. Okay, I think that's all for this area. That lady's going to wake up all the bad guys, but I don't care because I'm out of here. And so this has been a longer episode than normal, I think. So thank you guys for sticking with me. I hope you're enjoying the, the bow-only playthrough here. And next time, we're going to go finish up this area because I think we've gotten all the items and treasures now. So we'll go take on the boss. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. And if I can find the wave, bye for now.